Hey friends, so today what we're going to be doing is we're actually going to learn how to download different types of files using torrents on the I2P network. This is something I had a request for and I've been meaning to do this video for a little while. And what we're going to do is talk about the benefits. Of course, first, one of the main benefits is you're completely anonymous on the I2P network when you're using it for whatever purpose. Of course, whatever information you share, whether it be a unique username that fingerprints you, similar passphrases that may uniquely identify you, or other types of interests, hobbies, and employment that could basically identify you. Other than that, you're anonymous. So you have to consider that the weakest point in any network, whether it's Tor or I2P, is always going to be the user and what they decide to provide over that network and to the servers that are on the other side. With torrenting, there's all kinds of different usage out there. And you can download just about anything. And a lot of people do abuse that and tend to um, use it for piracy in some cases, which I definitely don't condone. So today I'm going to be talking about using torrents on the I2P network. And my intention in doing this video is to help share Linux operating systems and such. Um, but there's other types of files out there. Of course, you can search for ones that you're interested in. Of course, make sure to abide by any local regulations or laws that may be in your area. And let's go ahead and get started. So what you'll first want to do is start up I2P router. And so once that is all open, you've started up the router, give it about 15 minutes or so to uh, build tunnels. And then after that, you can begin. And once you click on this, everything should show up down here. You'll go right down here, and it actually has a torrent section ready to use. So go ahead and click on torrents. At this point, you'll see your current torrents. And I'm going to show you how to do this, how to add new ones. And what happens is once you've downloaded whatever file it is you're searching for on the Internet, uh, you download it, and it'll automatically start seeding. And what that means is you'll end up helping share those files in the torrenting peer-to-peer -peer style, but with the anonymous overlay that is the I2P network. So you're taking advantage of all the benefits of I2P, and you're also able to download countless types of files out there. What I've done is opened up that link, which is the torrent section here. After that, you should open a new tab, and when you do that, you should go over to the Postman torrent link which is right here. I'll save and share that link on the blog post. So take a look at that. And so what you'll see is a list of several files that are available for download. Um, and you can search here for other ones. And what I'm going to search for for our example video is Prestium, which is the I2P uh, Tails operating system inspired I2P operating system. So it's an I2P amnesic operating system. And so when I search for this, I'll go ahead and hit enter, and Prestium should show up. And once you've found the one you want to download, which is this one right here, looks like the most recent, you can go ahead at that point and go right here, then right click on that, copy the link, then jump back over to your I2P snark and go ahead and hit add torrent. And after that, you can simply paste it. And once you've pasted it, you then just hit add torrent. And after this, it's going to register everything and it's going to then start downloading from peers. Once it detects peers that also have this file, uh, they'll begin to seed that to you, which, as I mentioned earlier, seeding is helping to share that file with others. So once you've downloaded something as a torrent, I suggest leaving it in your I2P directory. And let me show you also where it's going to appear. So if you go to your home uh, directory 
and then you go to dot i2p and then the next directory you're going to go into is i2p snark and at this point you'll have all your files that are downloaded so any of the torrents you start with and download as you can see it just popped up a brand new one for the prestium that i just added and after this you'll have whatever it is you're downloading right here and so it's as easy as that it's really simple to do uh, once you get an I2P router set up, you have the console open, which is the web browser. Um, then you'll be able to begin downloading all kinds of different files and interesting things on the internet. So I hope you found this a helpful video. Like mentioned, once you're finished downloading it, it simply resides here. And I do recommend leaving the torrent and the file in this directory so that you can help seed those files to others who need them in the future and you also help make it a faster download a more reliable way to download so this is one of the biggest perks and I thought this video would help bring more attention to I2P's great benefits and the fact that you have a torrent system right in your I2P console so it's really cool really nice to know and of course you'll have to be a little patient because it is over the I2P network so it may not be super fast so as you can see it's registered six peers here and we're downloading it at 144 kbps so it's not very fast but you know what I think it's well worth it you know you have that option to anonymously download countless things and um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to share it with everyone uh, so other people can see another one of the great features that comes on I2P. I appreciate all of you following this. And if you want to support this, go to the public blog at buymeacoffee.com slash politictech slash posts. And there's ways you can read that public blog. And if you choose to support it, you can always do it there. But one of the best ways to support this is just simply sharing these videos. Really helps the channel and helps move everything up in the search rankings. So I appreciate you liking this. Make sure to like it and hit the subscribe bell with notifications so you don't miss anything. And I'll be back later with more on how to protect your security and privacy.